Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a customized license plate that you can use to cover your actual license plate in Photoshop. So step one is go online and search for a blank license plate. Here's one that I found online, so I'm just going to bring that into Photoshop. Open. Um, you, you want to try to find a pretty good resolution, pretty clear license plate. And then what we're going to do with this is we're going to prep this to be a file that we'll use every time. So we're going to make a new layer above that. And what we're going to do is get the clone stamp tool. And we're just going to go in here and clone over the stuff that we don't want. So I'm just clicking and grabbing some different areas around just so I don't, if you, if you click too close and you start painting, you're going to start cloning over and you don't want to do that. So you can click up here and that's just going to copy those areas. And then we don't want these. So we'll click in here and get rid of that. And then same thing down here. You can leave this or get rid of it if you want. I think it looks, I think it looks fine. The other thing that I think is good about this particular photo is it has some depth here, so it'll look a little more realistic. So here's, here's what we did for after, and this is what that layer looks like. So we'll just turn that stuff back on. So we're going to grab our type tool here. Uh, we have the color set to white. Click OK, and I'm actually going to just type my Instagram tag. And then we'll find a cool font. If you select that and arrow down, you can scroll through the different fonts that you have until you get to one that you like. And I think this one might be cool, but I don't like the capitalized. So here's another thing. So I like this font, but it's really close together. So if you select all the font, if you hit Option and then the left and right arrow keys, it'll space it out. And then the other thing you would do, just go back to your V tool. So now you have your font. It's on its own layer. Hit Command T, and then you can space it appropriately to fill the area. So then hit Enter. Another thing you can do is if you go over in this area, double click, you can play with some of the layer styles. So if you want it to look like it was pressed, you can go to bevel and emboss, and then you can go and change some of these pieces here. So we'll change that to soft. Up, You can change it up, down, um, outer bevel. So if we zoom in, you can see now it kind of looks like it was pressed in like a license plate. And you can change that up and down just so it looks a little bit more real. So I think that's fine. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go onto our background layer. We're going to click the quick selection tool and we're going to paint and select everything on the license plate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select inverse. So basically what we did is we selected the white area around the license plate and then we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this unlock button and then hit delete. So that deleted that white background. And then we'll hit click Command D, and what that does is that unselects our, our layer. And then we're going to crop this down a little bit. So we don't need those extra pixels. We'll hit Enter. 
And so just to make this easier, what we're going to do is I'm going to hit click on this top layer and click Command, Option, Shift, and E. And that's going to make a stamp visible layer. So now you can see everything we did is on one layer. You can file save this and then you can save it as a TIFF, a PNG, or a Photoshop file. And what that does is that keeps the transparency behind so you won't have that white box. So if you save that, so now I have that saved on my desktop. As you can see, it retained the transparency. It's, so each time you have a photo now, what you can do is you can just drag that onto the photo and there's your license plate. So if you click enter, it's on its own layer. And now to get that onto your actual car, what you're gonna do is you'll get it kind of close. Zoom in a little bit here. Click your, click V or select your move tool. You wanna get it kind of close in scale so hit Command T, that's going to put it into your transform mode. So what I do is I try to get this corner and this corner kind of the same height. And then what you do is holding down the Command key, that lets you click into these and drag and pull this and this. And you just do that on each of the four corners until you get it to cover the other license plate. So each time I click, I'm just holding down Command and then clicking and dragging that corner where it'll line up. And then once you're happy with, with the result, you go ahead and hit enter. It commits that transformation. Now the next thing you want to do is, because that looks, it's a little bit too sharp. So what you want to do is you want to click on that. And here's, an, here's a good tip. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to blur this, the license plate itself to help it blend in a little bit more with the photo. So if you right click where it says plate, there's an option here that says convert to smart object. So you wanna click that. And then what that's gonna allow you to do is go into the blur. We're just gonna hit Gaussian blur. And we wanna be somewhere way down here, like 0.9. 0.5 maybe. It doesn't take a lot, but if you look clicking off and on the preview button, it just helps it look a little bit more realistic because you see this line, it's a little bit out of focus. It's a little bit soft. So you don't want really hard lines because that's going to really give away the fact that it's fake. So if we click OK, the good thing that a smart filter does when we convert it to a smart object is it puts it in smart filters so you can go back in and you can adjust that if you put too much or too little if we would have just applied that blur directly to the layer you wouldn't have been able to do that so that's that's a good tip when you're doing things like this this lets you zoom in and out to make sure that it looks exactly like you think it should now I mean, for, for the purposes of what we're doing, just covering this up so you don't see the plate underneath it, I think that that's perfectly fine. If you wanted to take it a step further, what you could do is you could add a new layer. And a similar thing to adding shine to a window, what you could do is switch your, switch to your gradient tool switch to white as the highlight um, and then go to the first gradient 
and then just draw it like this straight across there so that puts a little bit of highlight on it then what you can do is right click on that layer and create a clipping mask basically what that does is that mask that gradient layer just to the layer underneath which is the plate so if you click on and off you can see now we have a highlight from where that light would come in and you can mess with the opacity to take it away or put it back up so as you can see by adding that little bit of highlight it just helps it helps add to the realism that this plate was actually there so you have a little bit of shadow from the overhang of the bumper here and you have a little bit of highlight from where it would would be in the light so i mean those are the basic steps of how you a create a license plate that you can use to cover your current plate and then um, b how you actually put it on your car and it's the same steps whether your car is straight on or it's off to an angle like this you just command t and then use the command click option on those corners and just fit it where it needs to go so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any ideas for future videos please leave them in the comments thanks